power inverter. It's a 2,000 watt continuous, 4,000 watt heat. Um, it is powering my 40 inch TV, uh, direct TV box, PlayStation, sound bar, phone chargers, and you know, a few lights every now and then. It's been great so far. Go outside here. Alright, this is my setup here. I've got four deep socket marine batteries. They are rated at 135 amp, amp hours. I have them wired in parallel to my charge controller. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel kit. I have two of them coming in to the box and to the uh, distribution block that you can plug multiple panels up into. Uh, currently Pretty good sunlight. We're sitting at about 13A. Yesterday I was at like 14. But we're getting pretty good sun right now. I've got two gauge cables connecting everything and two gauge cables running into my power inverter. Show you my panels. Oh, this is a my deck, I just, just did that. These are my panels. Each kit, Harbor Freight, 100 watt solar panel kits come with uh, four panels. Each one's 25 watts. Uh, I've got this little stand right now, kind of just up off the ground. Uh, and I got them all hooked together. They're actually, each, each uh, set is four panels all plugged into a uh, into the jumper. Here, get my shoes on real quick. Walk off the porch. All right, they are all set up. I I love these little kickstands they come with or whatever. Um, basically I just got these these plastic stands that I had and, and I had some leftover interior boards I screwed them down to it uh, I made a couple of holes and, and you know this is all temporary because I'm I'm gonna be moving this but I've got the wires ran in there and they're they're anchored now with zip ties but this is the the wiring that it comes with it's it's pretty durable uh, each panel has their own wires and they come in to this four into one cable when I say four into one cable um, you see this one two three four wires coming off here and they plug into your each individual panel and then four cuts down to one come on over and goes into my battery bank. Uh, I'm not sure how many amps I'm getting off of here right now, but I know when I'm getting pretty good sun like this, the panels are a little bit dirty at the moment. But I know when I'm pretty getting some pretty good, you know, unblocked sun, I can run the TV all day long from you know, normally I don't start watching TV until maybe about 10, but I don't really watch it much. My wife does. Uh, so, say about 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, all day until pretty much when the sun goes down, I'm getting a good charge and I'm not draining the batteries really. I mean, maybe slowly here and there it'll it might go down 
uh, point something, point three or four volts, sometimes half a volt, it'll go down of input. Uh, you know, that just depends on the sun. But I can go all night, pretty much, on my stored charge without draining my batteries below 50%. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I will be upgrading my charge controller, I know, but it is handling both these, uh, both two, uh, both two 100, I'm sorry, two 100 watt solar panel kits from Harbor Freight. And you know, like I said, they're coming in here and I've got them plugged into this, this uh, distribution block from a distribution block, you know, comes into the charge controller, charge controller, and I've got, I, I, you know, I'm gonna put larger gauge wire on to the batteries from, you know, from after it comes from the distribution box into the uh, charge controller, then charge controller to the batteries to charge them up. Uh, I cut off those clamp-on ends that it comes with. I, I just, I just don't like them. They, they didn't seem like they really were that great. So I, I cut them off. I put little ends on them right now. Uh, I still have the wire that it come that it came with to go to the batteries. Um, I, I will be upgrading it to some heavier gauge wire, uh, of course. Uh, I, I need to get a inline fuse, inline 200 amp fuse put on here in between my batteries and my my power inverter. I, I, I know that it's it's just been real hard with my work my work schedule and everything like that and trying to find that stuff around here locally at the stores it's just it hasn't been that great. So I'm 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 gonna get on Amazon, I'm gonna order the two hundred watt one. I mean the I'm sorry, the two hundred amp uh, the A and L inline fuse and everything, and I mounted in between my batteries and my uh, power inverter. Uh, and then I, but I do plan on getting a uh, a disconnect, 100 at, at least 150 amp disconnect, and, and, and mounting it. Um, this this tub right here, it's kind of been a large tub that I got from from Walmart a while back. And I, as you can see, I've got some vent holes in here. Uh, to help you know, any gas that may come off the batteries. Uh, but right now, I have not had, I've had this system going for about uh, two months, I'd say. And it has been great. It's been phenomenal. I mean, I can run just the vacuum cleaner off of it. Yeah, it's, it, it draws, it draws quite a bit of power with the vacuum. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, only thing I don't like about that Jupiter 2000 watt, 4000, uh, 2000 watt continuous 4000 peak converter is it doesn't give you an actual numbers display on, on what you're using. Okay? It gives you the, those power bars, the, you know, how many bars. And I think I use about three or four when I'm using the vacuum in the house. But it's not very long. It'll it'll probably drain my batteries if I if I hooked it up right now it'd probably pull my batteries down to about 12 8 12 7 for about the time that I'm using them. Uh, I do have I do utilize the uh, LED lights that it comes with and t temporarily right now I just kind of got it set up on the porch. Uh, yeah, but it's it, it is pretty great, you know. It, uh, let me turn those on. Okay, those are on. So I've got it already turned on, and I've got the switch mounted right here. So the daytime really doesn't do it justice, but uh, they, it is extremely bright, and I've got one inside as well. Uh, Turn it back off. It's not really using that. And it, see, it, it dropped down just a hair. Uh, I do want to get some more uh, 
Harbor Freight panels. Uh, I absolutely love these these panels. Low light, cloud cover for days, and I'm still pulling in uh, power, charging up my batteries from using and everything like that. Um, this stand I have for them, it, you know, like I said, it's it's only temporary and everything like that. I've, I've got, you know, I utilize the hardware and bolted them together, but uh, I, I've, I've been so happy with them. Um, eventually, I want to use my, my power to solely off of solar. Um, at the moment, you know, the, the AC unit and, and my small mini fridge, I'm, I'm actually coming off the camper trailer. Um, and I've got the, uh, the, uh, got about a hundred foot, 30 amp cord coming from off, uh, the main house into the travel trailer and then kind of just utilizing the sockets out here for right now, you know, cause I'm, I'm not trying to overload it. Uh, I do have a friend that has 400 watt in, uh, individual panels, solar, that he, uh, solar panels uh, that he said he was gonna be giving me. Uh, and I'm, I'm ecstatic about that. I, I wanna get those uh, and maybe try it out here. Excuse me as a mess. But maybe man them up on the roof. If not, uh, I can build a little uh, stand. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing with these as well. Like, I'm going to take these, I'm going to take these uh, eight panels that I have, these two kits. I'm going to take some 4x4 four four and some 2x6s uh, and I'm going to frame in uh, a, a stand up off the ground. And kind of how they're angled out now is how I'm going to lay them on the frame. Well, then I'm going to go taller as well, and I'm going to have another set of eight on top of them as well. Uh, I'm probably going to uh, move these yeah, maybe a little bit this way and kind of more long ways. I've got to get this travel trailer moved be before I can do that, though. But I want to take those 400 watt panels, which I'm not sure the size and dimension on them right now, but I want to take another wood frame and I want to stack one on bottom, one on next to it, and, and the two above it, just how I'm going to do the Harbor Freight kits. And then I'm going to, and, it, and what's kind of limiting me on moving these panels right now is uh, the cables that it comes with on these Harbor Freight ones. Uh, they're a simple uh, one, one way direction plugs. Uh, I think I can't, I'm not sure if you can see this right now with the sun, but yeah, it's a simple plugs or whatever. Um, I had got some cable extensions that were just like this from Harbor Freight in these, their little accessory kit, but it says uh, not to use these on these four to one cables. Like I guess if you were trying to extend where it comes four to one to the charge controller, I guess they don't want you putting it on that side. I'm, I'm not sure why, um, if it cuts down the, the input, because I know the longer the wires, the, the more the drop, it, the lower of the input is gonna be. I'm not sure if that's what it is or if it, would cause a problem and, and, and catch fire.